that is a really tough game. I don't know what you guys think, but I think we have a chance to create a surprise at Munich. Uh, no matter how you see Manchester United, the Premier League is quicker than the Bundesliga. And if Bayern was playing in the this person, this present Bayern team was playing in the Premier League, I, I doubt that they will be. Uh, leading the, 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 the Premier League. So I think Manchester United, um, we have to go there. It will be a very tough game. We will uh, have to go there with a strategy. If we play the open kind of football that we've been playing the past two days, I think we, that will be another three goals considered in Bayern. And um, all the whole, all the Ten Hag outs will be uh, out on the street rioting. But yeah, guys, you've just seen the lineup which I draw here. This is a lineup in case all players are uh, healthy because we've got information that Ten Hag uh, has a play injury boost in the sense that most players are coming back from injury. They will be there in the game against uh, uh, Burnley, but which means the players are already training. They are trying to get match fitness and they might play some part in the game against, uh, uh, they might play some part in the game against Bayern uh, Munich. So uh, tell me what you think, guys. I just want to ask you guys again. Uh, please um, don't forget to uh, draw your lineup. Sorry, I, I just need to check something here. Sorry, guys. Don't forget to draw your lineup below. I would like to tell you guys to help me out with get, getting the proper lineup a good lineup for Manchester United against Bayern because I want to say this, I want to repeat it, that if United goes there and play in just a normal game like strategy opening and open with a very open midfield, we will take three. I don't care how you say it. The the the, the fans there will be very hostile and uh, with the type of uh, mentality United has that when we get a goal, every all the heads dropped, I think it's going to be a very difficult uh, period for Manchester United. But... You know, we there, there are reasons for us to be happy. There are reasons for us to be positive because Ten Hag is our manager. That's my view. So uh, uh, well, Manchester United have met Bayern Munich. If you talk about the history, most of you, I did ask it. By the way, guys, go to our Facebook group. Subscribe there. You will understand exactly why or uh, how active uh, the United community here is with, with us. We have uh, 150,000 followers on Facebook. So I think uh, you have a lot to contribute in terms of uh, your news and uh, your opinions. We have a lot of votes in there. That would be important. Yeah, so how, the, there's the, the two sides have met head to head. Uh, overall like 16 times 16 times obviously yeah united has um has has won three times i mean bayern munich has won four against two for manchester united and uh they drew five times honestly yeah so that's 16 times uh Highest goal scorers, uh, we have uh, a player here. Yeah, these are just the statistics online. You have Van, Den Van Nistelrooy and Robert Lebanovsky. That's back in the days when they used to play, when Van Nistelrooy used to play. But yeah, let's come back to the game. What lineup are you going to use for this game? Because this is my lineup and I want to, let's go to the tactical body. I want to tell you why. I know there have been a lot of criticism, but I think um, uh, we have no choice. I just think... I just think we have a goalkeeper for playing with the wrong kind of players. United, we have always had very stagnant players in the past. And this is not... Oh, I'm sorry, guys. And this is not something different. Well, Licha, I think Licha, uh, Martinez will play in the defense. I'm not sure that... Uh, I'm not sure that um, Veran will come in directly because we have to make sure he gets fit. I mean, Veran is made of glass, to be honest. But um, if Veran is fit, he should start. But if he is not, he is if he is not fit, then uh, I will go with Lindelof. I think Lindelof. Let's just put it this way. Let's assume Veran is not fit, right? Uh, so Veran or Lindelof, one of them will play here. Let's put it this way. Veran or Lindelof will be here. Casemiro um, should be here. I think uh, in the midfield. We should try Casemiro with Amrabat. I think Amrabat is the player that we we we, we who can uh, revolutionize our midfield. Well, he won't. I, when I say revolutionize, you might not understand. You might say, "Beraf, uh, what do you expect from a player which is defensive?" But I think Amrabat, honestly, he is. Um, what what I think is lacking in Manchester United game is that guy who sits be in front of the defense and also no circulate the ball read the game and uh, yeah i think amrabat can do it i want to i want to guess that he has the physicality 
and the energy tenacity to do it to play that role because um if we're honest uh, um, casemiro has been um uh, physically uh, very i mean very slow to be honest we yeah for casemiro uh so i will put amrabat and casemiro in the midfield amrabat is coming back from an injury it wasn't a serious injury it was a matter about resting so he might feature in the game against bayern munich in front of them, Bruno Fernandes. Bruno Fernandes should play that front ro that role as a playmaker. I don't know what Ten Hag is doing. I, I still believe that either a players are not playing the way he wants or he's not uh, sending the, mystery, the message uh, correctly. But uh, Marcus Rashford, who was a massive weakness for us in the last game, Marcus Rashford has to be collective. If Rashford isn't collective, we will, we will not have a good season. Because uh, United has used this guy individually for the past half a decade, five years since he started playing. It has been everything to for to Rashford, so Rashford starts to start running with the ball. So that's a massive mistake. Aaron Basaka will be my right back. Hopefully he's already healthy and strong. And we have um, the... Uh, Many will say Regulon, yeah, but I will go for Delo because we'll have to be defensive. I'm not sure about Regulon, how defensive he is. Some are blaming Regulon for the first game against Brighton, but I don't know how Regulon will be, will, will, will be, but I like him for us. I mean, games we're playing in Ultra for Regulon will be a very good addition. But for me, I will go with um, Derek Diego Dalo in the left. In the right, I didn't put any player, but honestly... I don't know. Mebry shouldn't start the game. We shouldn't get get a goal with Mebry and he starts the game. I think Mebry should come in the midfield, but on the right, I will, I will, I could, we could play like this. Bruno plays on the right, and Chris and Ericsson comes and play the midfield. Play also here yeah, in this uh, on the midfield, and then um, Hodgson, uh, Rasmus Holland, Hodgson play as a nine. I asked the question, did, what was uh, Ten Hag correct to change Hodgeland? And um, most of you guys on our Facebook group said yes. They thought uh, that they thought Holland uh, had to stay. They said no, Ten Hag was wrong to change Hodgeland. And I, and I share that, that uh, view that I think when you have a young player who wants to play, even if he's not doing well, you should let him play. He's trying to build his confidence. He needs that goal. I think Eric Ten Hag will be shooting his foot when if he doesn't read the room very well in terms of players. So he brought this player and he needs to help the player build the confidence with attacking and in football in general, confidence plays a very important role. So uh, this is what I will take. Medjbri will be on the bench for me. I think he will he will be on the bench. We have Regolon also and all the um, McTominay. It will be... I would not be surprised to see McTominay on this pitch, but what I think is, don't forget Bayern Munich wanted McTominay, so he might play, he might come and play this game. But I've told you guys several times that personally, I think McTominay is a fraud. As a, as a player, I think he is not, a, he's a player that, he's a moment player, let me just put it clear. He, he has exposed himself to Manchester United big time. So I don't think uh, McTominay is the kind of player we can count on in such games. But yeah, going back with the scores, I will go for for a two-two Manchester United. I, I, you'll be surprised because I don't think Bayern Munich is that is that strong team. It's not the Bayern in those days. Football has changed a lot. I know they do have Keane. For me, it is very important that Keane doesn't score. And uh, for Keane not to score, we really have to be very good defensively. Our defenders for the past days, our defend and past weeks, uh, the big the goals we have considered was are really in the hands of the defenders. Our defenders are not defending. I don't know what you think, but tell me below. Anyway, guys, that's my lineup. Tell me what you think. I think it will be a two-two draw game in Munich. Two-two draw will not be a bad thing, and uh, United uh, will come out. Uh, maybe that will be a, a boost for us starting from the Munich game. We shall see. Okay, guys, with that all said, uh, talk to you soon. And uh, guys, if you l l have some information and know who your team, please drop it below. We are going to reply to your comments and try to see where your tactical knowledge is in terms of Manchester United team. I know we are not in the best period, but this, this uh, is better to have it early in the season than in the end of the season when you are hoping to win something. So, uh, yeah, I'll do a video about the tacticals of Manchester tactics of Manchester United, which I think Eric Tenard has made a slight mistake. 
and um, I would love to get your input. So, uh, yeah, great speaking to you and talk to you soon. Bye-bye.